what is a normal vector. Normal vector is quite easy to explain. So you have one vector, like blue pen, and so the normal vector in this case would be green pen, and it would look like this. So you see uh, they're orthogonal, and this is already what normal means. The normal means one vector is orthogonal to the other vector. And there are two ways how to calculate a normal vector to a vector that has been given in the exercise. Uh, one is the cross product, and the other one, which I like more, is where you take the definition of a normal vector, which is that the product of both vectors is zero, and then you can calculate it via a matrix. So this is a procedure I prefer, but I think maybe it's uh, usually people on YouTube say me it's slower, and it's maybe not the way which is straightforward, but I like the way with matrix more, and the other way is just because you have to learn by heart a formula for the cross product, uh, I think it's the cross product may be more difficult to memorize long term. But I will show you how it works in a second, and then you know how it works. How to calculate a normal vector? Actually, there are two different ways how to do that. And first, we need two vectors so that we can calculate a normal vector. And for example, in the uh, two-dimensional area, normal vector would something be like this. It would be a vector which has an angle of 90 degrees to both the other vectors. And that's what we are going to calculate. And I'll show you how it works. So we have two vectors in this case, A and B. We have 1, 4, minus 4, and B, which is 2, minus 7, minus 6. And we want to know what is the normal vector, a vector which has 90 degrees to both of these vectors. So that by definition, uh, it is called n, the normal vector, and when we multiply the normal vector with a and with b, you'll see in a second, then it should uh, result in zero. That's the definition. And so it means we have an angle between n and a of 90 degrees, and again, between n and b, also 90 degrees. And there are two ways how to do it. We could just... The, the first way, which I'm not going to calculate, is a cross product. And the result will be sort of, well, let's call it M, but it will be also a normal vector. Cross product, there's a formula for it you need to learn by heart, but that's why I don't like it. You need a formula to know by heart. So uh, this way I'm going to show you, you don't need to have a formula in your head, but you can calculate it. Like, if you forget the formula for the cross product, you can calculate it anyway. And it works the following. Uh, by definition, so you, if you multiply, you receive zero, so you do it component-wise. So we have a1, n1, plus a2, n2, plus a3, n3, equals zero. Same thing for b, b1, n1 plus b2 n2 plus b3 n3 equals 0. So we just insert our numbers. We have 1 n1 plus 4 n2 plus, uh, in this case, minus 4 n3 equals 0. 2 n1 minus 7 n2 minus 6 n3 is 0. You can transform this into a matrix, since it's a linear system of equations. 1, 4, minus 4, 0. 2, minus 7, minus 6, 0. Uh, 0. And now, at this point, I don't want to show actually how to solve uh, the matrix with the Gaussian elimination procedure. I have a different video for that you can watch. And I just take a result which I calculated with a calculator which can do this. So the result of this matrix will be the following. So it will be 1, 0, minus 52 divided by 15, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 
15, 0. And why does it look like that? It looks like that because we have one information less than we have variables, which, which does also make perfect sense since we have, uh, when we have two vectors, there are always more, uh, possibilities for a normal vector, right? So, uh, this is why we have, uh, one information less than we actually need. And then we can uh, insert a parameter. We can say uh, n3 is t, then n2 is, we take this to the right side, is plus 2 divided by 15 t, and the same way n1 is 52 divided by 15 t. And the trick is now just to insert the denominator for t as value of t, then you receive a nice uh, normal vector. So in this case, n, we would say uh, 52 to 15. This is how it works with a method where you don't need the cross product, but I would say it depends on what you like more. Actually, I always use this procedure and it well works. And But when you, the thing is, you also don't need a formula for this. You just need to understand that if you multiply a with n, b with n, then the result is zero. And but the cross product you can also apply, but you need to know the formula for it, and you need to be able to apply it without making any mistakes in the exam or homework or whatever. So two procedures to receive a normal vector and also the cross product, you, you have to try what, whatever you like more, whatever is faster, works better for you, and this is how it works. Thanks for watching. Practice makes perfect further exercises with solutions you can find on my website, which is www.worksheeps.com.